Well, Brian Dawson here for KFIL, and joining me here now with the studio, a name that you're going to hear actually quite a bit of around, well, we'll call it Chatfield to be kind of specific, but basically all around the, the Midwestern area. Adam Wayne. Adam, it's nice to have you in here. Hey, thanks for having me. Not a problem. Um, so first and foremost here, what we're here to talk about today is a show that's coming up on November 6th at Jack's Bar and Grill. It's going to be from 9 to midnight. And from what I understand, it's going to be kind of like a like an acoustic show that you're going to be putting on in there. Yep. Yeah, we're going to break up the flat top guitars there and uh, show them how uh, country music's made. <laughs> there we go. Um, so you live in Lanesboro right now. Yep. Actually, live, um, where are you from? I, I was actually born in uh, Austin, Minnesota. Okay. But um, lived in Lanesboro for a while now. And uh, been, just been traveling all over the country and, and uh, playing and writing songs. And we just got off tour here a little while back. Um, we did 30 shows in 30 days and actually popped into 30 radio stations as well. Um, <laughs> just kind of all over the country. Uh, we were out in South Dakota, open for uh, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And then uh, headed down to Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma. It was a big circle, um, about 7,300 miles is what we put on. Wow. Wow, it's a lot of miles, and country music is such a big thing. Yeah, wherever you go, uh, people love country music, and uh, it just tells tells a story, you know. Uh, there's a lot of different formats out there, you know, and it's just one that I fell in love with growing up, and listening to all the old records and whatnot. My dad has a collection that's just phenomenal with uh, country music. So you're, I know the single you've had that we've actually been playing on our station, Country Lullaby, I know you've got another one too, that down every road there's a rodeo, and I know around here that's, that, that actually could kind of hit home for a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of horses around here, so a lot of rodeos I'm sure happen around here, but we've actually gotten some, we've gotten a little bit of response on that Country Lullaby song, and I gotta admit, when I listened to the record, that was the one that really kind of stood out to me, and that was the one I said that I wanted to throw on a radio station, so. Cool, man. Yeah, very, very, very old school country, I'll say that much. So it's kind of nice to have a new kind of artist do some old country stuff. So yeah, kind of really cool to see that. I, uh, I wrote that song with a, a friend of mine. Um, actually, he's a, he was from uh, Brownsdale. But he um, recently had passed. With, uh, cancer, but we had written a lot of a lot of songs together, and uh, that song hits home for me too, and and for everybody that knows the story and background behind the song. Um, but it's being played, yeah, all over the country, and um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, Don't ever roll this road. You mentioned that song. Uh, that song hits home for me too. Um, being a country music singer and being from Minnesota, uh, wherever I go, people, people, uh, I don't know if they heckle me, but they're saying, they tell me, hey, you know, how can he be a country singer from Minnesota? So that song kind of came out of me, and, and uh, I co-wrote it with an Australian friend of mine mm. when I was living in Nashville, you know, and uh, so he's from Australia, and, you know, cowboys and country music, I mean, no matter where you go, they love it. Japan, they love country music over there. Really? Yeah. That one I would have never yeah. guessed. <laughs> yeah, for huh. sure. Well, don't forget that uh, show... Friday night at Jack's Barn Grill, going to be at 9 to 12 o'clock, so and Adam, it's been a pleasure having you here in our studio, and I want to wish you the best of luck in whatever tours bring you, or whatever other shows you do, I want to wish you the best of luck in that, and maybe one day we'll see you in that top 40 country. Yeah, man, well, <laughs> I appreciate you guys having me in, Brian, and, uh, and uh, tune in to 103.1 KFIL, and you guys rock.